the White Cliffs of Dover are cliffs which form part of the British coastline, facing out to the sea towards continental Europe and France. The cliff face, which reaches up to 110 metres, owes its striking façade to its composition of chalk. They spread both east and west from the town of Dover, and because crossing at Dover was the primary route to the continent before air travel, the white line of cliffs also formed the first or last site of the UK for travellers. The ancient port of Dover still thrives to this day and is the gateway to one of Britain's prettiest counties. The County of Kent is often called the Garden of England. It earned that reputation from the growing of apples and hops. Hops are used in the brewing of beer to give it its distinct bitter taste and aroma and were processed in oast houses where the hops were dried. These oast houses can still be found dotted throughout Kent, but nowadays many have been converted into upmarket homes. Today, the county is beginning to make a name for itself for producing wine rather than beer, with its soil conditions similar to that of the Champagne region in France, combined with one of the mildest climates in Britain, vines thrive here. Major landmarks of the county include Leeds Castle, whom some call the loveliest castle in the world, historic Hever Castle, the childhood home of Anne Boleyn, who would later go on to marry King Henry VIII. However, one of the oldest and most impressive landmarks in Kent is to be found here, in the picturesque city of Canterbury. It is, of course, Canterbury Cathedral. First built in 597 AD, Canterbury Cathedral is one of the oldest and most famous Christian structures in England. It is the Cathedral of the Archbishop of Canterbury, leader of the Church of England and symbolic leader of the worldwide Anglican Communion. After the murder of Archbishop Thomas Becket in the cathedral in 1170 by knights working for King Henry II, Canterbury became an important place of pilgrimage and people came from all over Europe to worship here. Over the decades, the pilgrims and the money they brought with them transformed this cathedral. Thomas Becket was made a saint soon after his death and these 12 glorious stained glass windows are dedicated to his life and works. The cathedral still dominates the city skyline to this day and is as impressive now as it has always been.